uh, Razer Cup Challenge, Razer Global Challenge, excuse me. It's also just in the preliminary stages, so we see a lot of one-sided stops as well. So not too many Dota games to cast, and never more Yafa picks up a Desla later. And wow, I, I'm I'm waiting for I'm waiting for these uh, Scourge players to pull out a gem here, because that's that's really when you know it's game over. But I mean, you know, this, these these guys are just doing whatever they want right now. Four staff on Twin Head, double earn on on you know Witch Doctor and CM. That that, wow, Planeswalker cloak on Witch Doctor as well. So I mean, these support heroes are pretty stacked, predominantly due to the uh, the amount of tower kills they got. And really, I don't think like anti mage got as Yasha, but really, it's too little, too late at this point. As we see, Storm Spirit, like even Storm Spirit, is you know in danger of being killed. He still has absolutely nothing here, uh, not even a perseverance. I think they are going in for the oh, they do pick up THG, so they so they do quite some significant damage. But oh no, that. That anti mage is taking so much damage, so he's not going to be in effect. Meanwhile, the Yafa Nevermore is going to do so much damage. And morphing, morphing, do whatever he can to run out. He is morphing into strength at this point, so he is going to be okay. Meanwhile, the anti mage, anti mage is taking some big damage. No, he is going to. Oh wow, Sentinel actually doing not too bad at this point. They are going to pick off a uh, Wish Doctor as well. Uh, Yafit gets gets a god like somewhere though. Um, I don't, I don't even know where Yafit is. Oh no, Yafit is in the middle of fight. I'm not sure how I missed that. Yafit, oh, Yafit loses Aegis Charge. I think Sentinel should back off. They shouldn't be greedy at this point. Yeah, smartly they back off. No, they're gonna try to kill Yafit. I think this is a bad choice here. No, they yeah, they're just doing some damage on Yafit and and putting back immediately. So well fought, and and no, never mind. Yafit just picked up a kill on somewhere. Picked up a kill on Ventral Spirit, but still well fought for Sentinel here. They they kind of just initiated on the THD, killed the THD, and and I guess they caught Scourge by surprise there. But still, uh, the the carry here on 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 Scourge is, is just a bit too much. That Aegis kind of hurt them a bit, you know. If if Yafi didn't have an Aegis uh, revival there, I would have called it in favor of Sentinel, and uh, they actually pulled off some nice team fight there. So I'm not sure. I don't know. It, it's maybe a bit uh. <laughs> Maybe a bit uh, optimistic to to say it's not over yet, but really, I think I think it's a bit over. As they are gonna uh, go on THC, I think going on THC is a good choice here because THC does have some nice nice AOE damage with his Mago Fire and Dual Breath. Of course, Ipa Ice Path is always very dangerous here. So I think the Sentinel is making a smart choice going on 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 on, on the THP. Uh, also, they might want to go for the Witch Doctor as well. You can see that Witch Doctor is just being hella annoying with that uh, that Voodoo Restoration. So, uh, but at this point, I don't think Sentinel can turtle enough. As you see, the mid is getting racks as well. So I think the game is over at this point. Yeah. Let's see if they're gonna pull off some last minute Valen defend. There is a four staff on the line. Line is gonna be going down line. Two more hits. One more hit. No, nice swap there safe, but BKB ultimate still. None of them cancel by Venge, so this Venge is a little bit disappointing. And they will nice one raise. Give me another raise. Oh no, no raise, no raise. And the yeah, average is kinda of going in. Um, they don't even care at this point. Uh, still, still kind of a clumsy play, I guess. But they will win this game at this point. So um, I'm gonna just go into the late game analysis here. The, the, the really the I guess the reason why I really wanted to cast this game to watch that that fun trialing, uh, trialing you know from Sentinel versus trialing from Scourge, and it really has some nice variant there. You know the the offensive trialing uh, with the the ability to mana break and blink. And uh, the semi-defensive trialing with the with the cast cast is a, sometimes is a very defensive spell in my opinion, because um, you know when you dive when you dive on the witch doctor or when you dive on the scourge, uh, you know you don't have a lot of times you don't have creep support, and when you don't have creep support, those casts is going to be stunning all of the heroes all the time. So really, it's a nice defensive spell. Of course, a voodoo restoration one of the better defensive spell early game. So. I mean, you know, defensive versus offensive line, and I think the the try support, the try support of uh, of the scourge kind of won that trialing, and you know they they dug, and the other in the other lanes they just got out farm like the Dusa just kind of out farm the the morphling, of course Yafa out farm the storm, and when you're kind of losing in every single lane, you can't really hope to beat Nirvana, uh, China here, so. You know that that's that's all she wrote, and that was kind of the game, again. But I still like the little intricate play in between, uh, especially you know Voodoo Restoration picked up at level two, and oh wow, I mean Anti Mage is just getting chased and after a single blink, and uh, wow that dude's a Manta Scotty, and that's 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 kind of much it.
And uh, I'm not sure why Sentinel is still not calling GG. They are choosing to play out this game, but you know, at this point, it's kind of pointless. And uh, of course, Jaffet. Wow, he is just so stacked at this point. But that one triple kill at bottom lane after the haste rune. I'm, I'm, I I always see Jaffet with haste runes or something because. Maybe he's always making PIS movies because uh, he always goes in haste and goes into like an ultra kill or something, and uh, really the scourge is just, <laughs> just rolling over whatever they they want right now. They are just more fleeing storm spear whatever, and uh, Yafa getting in get killed and then finally calling GG. Wow, yeah. So I apologize. I'm gonna pause and pull up the early, uh, end game screen and talk about some of the the game here. Yeah. So I apologize. This is not probably not one of my uh, better casts here. I'll probably put it up because I haven't put up a commentary for quite a while. And again, um, I, I think this is my what, 47, 48 commentary. If I actually put all the games I did, I would probably be up to like 60 something commentary. I'm such a professionalist and I don't like to put up this game. So this is probably the worst game you'll see from me. And I guess treat it as a... Uh, as a luminous being lazy video, I suppose. I don't know, but I, I still I, I really like this game due to the of course the THC pick and really that bottom lane they really uh, nice nicely got a lot of nice and I have to say the line being being the only 600 range just kind of got out bully. He has some nice nice harass. If you want to play, if you really want to learn support, just go download this replay and watch how that line play early game. He was. He was moving in and out of shadow if you were watching in Sentinel's point of view, or uh, I guess better if you're watching Scourge's point of view. He was moving in and out of shadow, coming in for a hit and backing out immediately. He wasn't drawing any creep aggro. He was just, you know, baller with his harassment. But really, once, you know, once the Crystal Maiden and, and, and Bush Doctor and the THG picked up level 2 or 3, where they got access into, like, you know, their secondary stun, secondary slow, it was just a bit too much for the for the Scourge, uh, for the Sentinel and Tri Lane to, to handle. Of course, that anti mage not too good in terms of defensive. Again, you know, I, I, I talked about it earlier where if, if you know, if your line gets initiated upon, that, that anti mage can't do anything for his teammates, so. I think that's kind of why they kind of got outplayed in every single lane, and that was the game. So, a bit zombie, but really, it's a bit of an educational replay as well, especially that line. I, I'm gonna watch this replay one more time later with digital line. So, it's it's a really you know I I, I really recommend that uh, watch I guess for the less at least for the ten, first ten minutes or something. So I guess that's it. Um, and a final shout out to everyone that's watching and or listening to TeamSpeak 3. Again, I apologize. This is probably not my best commentary, or at least not my best effort. But uh. You guys, you guys will do it until the next one, I guess. And uh, oh yeah, also shout out to uh, DotaCommentaries.com. We recently installed a forum because a lot of people were asking for it. By no means a competition to play Dota forum, but it's also a really nice addition for a small DC community to hang out. And uh, also shout out to the other commentators. Lately, I've been playing a lot of Dota game with them, uh, especially the mysterious Ian. I finally got to play a couple of Dota games with him and never played with him, but now. Now he, uh, we're playing some Dota games, and it's been really, really fun. And uh, we, we are, we've been thinking. Uh, okay, don't, don't, uh, you know, don't. You guys didn't hear this from me, but because it's not official or anything, we've been thinking of having a commentator versus viewer game or something. Maybe like, you know, we have Ian, we have Restalker, we have Jack, myself, maybe Phantom or another commentator. We'll, we'll just have a commentator team. And probably do get out against a, a you know a viewer team or something that that should be interesting and we'll probably cast that game or something. But um, of course, uh, let me let me know if you guys are interested in something like that. And of course, I'll talk to the other commentators or something. But um, okay, I think I ran a bit too long. Uh, GG Nirvana China and uh, good job DK. Haven't heard of you guys. Sorry. And uh, I guess that's it. This is Luminous signing off. GG.